Greetings to you all ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing exercise 1.12 and we're only going to be having one solution for this exercise. The reason being it's pretty straightforward if you ask me. So without any waste of time, let's get on to the question. Okay, what they said here is assume a runner runs 24 miles in, in one hour, 45 minutes and 35 seconds. Write a program that displays the average speed in kilometers per hour. Note that one mile is 1.6 kilometers. So on such questions, I always strongly recommend you guys to start by writing it on paper first before jumping onto code. Because otherwise you're going to have a hard time coding something you don't know how, how is it even solved. Like you got to have a solution first before you jump on to coding okay what I did is I wrote like uh, I wrote down a site using my calculator the all the answers for certain computation but you're gonna see what do I mean at the moment oh are you gonna see in a moment what do I mean okay now firstly we gotta know that the average speed average speed is actually equals to distance over time okay <coughs> okay this machine is starting to go to be slow okay but the first thing we gotta do though is to convert kilometers and we gotta convert our distance to kilometers and our time to hours, okay? Okay, before, okay, before, okay, once we do that, we're gonna be able to proceed with our calculation. So what we know is, we also been, we also been told one mile is equals to 1.6 kilometers and 24 kilometers kilometers is actually equals to some number let's put a question mark for that number actually that's the number we're looking for kilometers if you did mathematics then you will know that if you have two equations like these what you gotta do is to simply cross multiply in order to find our question mark so if we do that if we do that and we call our question mark distance our final answer will be let's let's question mark b distance so distance is actually equals to is is actually equals to 24 multiplied by 1.6 okay if you divide the whole thing by 1 because we what you do here we cross multiply we say 1.6 multiplied by 24 we have that on our left hand side of the equal sign and the on the right hand side of the equal sign we're gonna, we will have 1 multiplied by this question mark which we call distance so that's that is actually equivalent to saying 24 multiplied by 6 is equal to distance which is equals to as i told you guys i did the calculations aside so our answer is 38.4 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 zeros, and the 6. Okay, now that we're done with the distance, what we gotta do now is to simply, is to simply,
convect our time. So what we know is 1 minus is actually equals to 60 seconds. And then Okay, this actually, it, this simply implies that 40 minutes, minutes is equals to 40 multiplied by 60. This is a simple mathematics, you guys. There isn't much to explain. I mean, at a glance, you can tell. Your intuition simply tells you there that 40 minutes, that 40 minutes is actually equals to 40 multiplied by 60 seconds. So we call that time. So our time is simply 40 multiplied by 60, which is which is simply which is simply. Um, let me check out my calculations. Multiplied by 60, that will simply be 4 times 6. That's actually 6, 12, 18, 24. So it's going to be 2,400, if I'm not mistaken. Or we can simply do this. By the way, this is how I've been getting my answers, you guys. Just go. So that you'll see how I get my answers sometimes. This is what I simply do. And then I run this. This is work more or less like a calculator now. Let me check out the output. So is the output? Oh, well, as I mentioned, it's actually 2,400 because I cannot find my calculations now. So. We have that as our time. So now, now, one hour plus 40 minutes plus, oh, I'm running out of my battery here. Okay, one hour, 40 minutes plus 35 seconds. is actually equals to that is actually equals to we will say 60 an hour is actually made up of 60 minutes and we know that each minute is made up of 60 seconds so we will have 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds in order to find ourselves a total number of seconds and we're gonna go 40 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds again you guys we're actually trying to convert our time into seconds i mean everything into seconds so what we have Based on my calculation, I got 6,035. Again, we can check that out by simply replacing the whole thing. By simply replacing this 40 multiplied by 60 by this. And then we check out our answer. It gotta be 60.35. Okay, good. Okay, now it's actually the part where we do the work. But before we do though, let's do this. Okay, I mean based on our based on our equation, we did find that uh, we did find that the 
average speed is equal to distance over time. So if we actually convert this whole thing, these seconds, because right now we have this is 2600 seconds. If you want to convert this in two hours, you will simply have we will simply have this number here 3035 we'll simply divide this number by 3600 why 3600 that's simply because we've got 3600 seconds in an hour so our answer is actually based on my calculation 1.6 7 6 again three and we have how many eights one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten eight it's gonna be in the nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in the nine hours this is this number is actually converted into hours again if you don't trust my calculation you can simply do this and then you run this in order to get that number Oh, well, we have one simply because we gotta put a point zero here in order to get the fraction part in order to treat the whole thing as a fraction okay again let's try it out okay as well as you guys can see we've got 0 0.6781234567891 it's this is the exact number we have right here okay so now now our average speed average speed is given as distance all over time average speed is equal to what is our distance our distance is actually this number here in what in kilometers divided by our time in hours okay so this is what we have this is the, uh, the exact thing we have So we got 22 point that. Of course, you guys, you can play around with this by using uh, print F and then round off this number into whatever decimal places you would like. So with me, I'm simply gonna wrap this video up. I don't want you to take. I don't wanna. I don't want you guys to take too much of your time. Let's call it a day now. It has been a long day for me. Okay, cheers, you guys. See you on the next which tutorial, which is going to be exercise 1.18, which is going to be the very last exercise. I must say it is going to take long time because there are certain things I want to emphasize, especially the print F. Okay, cheers, you guys. See you on the next tutorial.